So for problems that ask you to do SOP or POS, all you have to do is looking at the roads with output 1 for SOP and try to force the inputs to be 1. For POS, we do the opposite. So we look at the roads with output 0 and we try to force the inputs to be 0. So let's do an example, um, the practice midterm, 2012. So here, uh, we have to first write the truth table, right? So the way I write it is I start with the last output. Here we have four inputs, last inputs. So here we have four inputs, right? So I start with D, the last one, and I just alternate them between 0 and 1, all the way down. So we have four inputs, so there are 16 entries. Okay, so here I'm just alternating between 0 and 1. And here I'm going to alternate between two zeros, and then I'm going to have two ones. And then just do it all the way down. So for B, I'm going to have four zeros and then four ones okay now for A I'm going to have eight zeros and then eight ones so I think when you fill out columns by columns like this it's faster but yeah of course you can also go zero 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 one Zero 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 one zero, but personally for me this is faster. So if you don't have a lot of time, just try to do it this way. So now the question is saying that um, the output is one when two or more inputs are one. So basically what it's saying is if the inputs have two ones, then it's a one. Two or more ones, then it's a one. Otherwise, it's going to be 0. So this input, we see 0, 0, 0, 0. So there's no 1 here. The output would be 0. So there is 1, 1 here. So output is still going to be 0. For this one, there's only 1, 1. So output is 0. And for this one, there are two ones. So output is going to be 1. So basically, you're just going to go down the list and see. This one, this one is one, and then for all these, it's just gonna be one. Okay, so that's our truth table. So now, if we want to write it in terms of SOP, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the rows with output one. So we're gonna look at this row. Let's just try to highlight this. We're gonna look at this row. We're gonna look at these ones. I'm going to look at all of this. So that is if we want to do SOP. Okay, so what I said up here, try to force the input to be 1, right? So these are our inputs. So let's look at this one. This is A, right? A is 0. We try to force it to be 1. So what do we have to do? We have to not it. So that it's going to be 1. Same thing here. B is 0 in this case. But we want it to be 1. So it's just going to be B plus. B prime I mean. And C is already 1. So it's fine. It's just going to do C. D is already 1. So we're just going to do D. So that's our first row. Now second row. Same thing, right? A is 0. We try to force it to be 1. So it's going to be A prime. For B, we try to force it to be 1. But it's already 1. So we're just going to do... Oops, this is A. So for B, so we just keep B. C is 0 right now. So we want 1, so we have to do C naught. 
and then Z is already one so we just keep Z and we're just gonna do the exact same thing for all of these and we're gonna have FOP very simple okay now if I want to do now if I don't want to do SOP I want to do POS okay so what we have to do is we're just gonna look at the rows with output 0 So these one have output zero, this one has output zero, this one has output zero. Okay, that's all. So now I try to force my inputs to be zeros. So here I have A, B, C, Ds, all of them are already zeros, so I don't have to negate anything. I'm just gonna keep A, B, C, D. So for this one, we oh. This one should be a plus since we're doing as the POS. Okay. So for this row, A is already zero, B is already zero, C is already zero. We just have to negate C to make it zero. Because B is one right now. So we just have to do A. B, C, the same, and then D, we have to negate it. So we do D naught. Okay, so let's do another row. Uh, let's do this row. So A is 0, so it's fine. B is 0, so it's fine. C is 1, so we want it to negate it so that we get 0. So it's just going to be C naught. And then D is zero so it's fine so so yeah so basically you do the exact same thing for the rest of them and you get pos 